Before we get into this video, I just have to say one thing. Shout out to Sam Vestal for going pro for Revive Skateboards. Sam is my guy. I, I genuinely feel like he's kind of like a little brother vibe. He he's like the best dude, we get along super well. Haven't gotten to see him in a long time because of Corona, but he just went pro for Revive Skateboards. What the hell? We are now pro for the same company and it feels super, super cool. I just, it makes me so happy. Congrats, Sam, you're the best. My family and I decided to go on a trip together too. Ireland. Now this is supposed to be a full on, let's just explore, we have an itinerary, let's do this thing. But in my head as a skateboarder, I already knew. I can't get away from it. I just knew that I was gonna have to skate when I get out there at least somewhere, at least one skate park. So whatever first skate park that we saw anywhere on our route or maybe late at night I could sneak into a place, I was gonna skate one skate park in Ireland. After a couple of days of exploring and seeing all this beautiful Irelandish stuff, we found a skate park. My skateboard is attached to my back. So what we're going to right now is exactly what I kind of want to do right now. I need a little bit of exercise. I mentioned that earlier and this is where it will be happening. Oh, snap. So I found out later that the park is actually called Mount Kenneth Skate Park. I don't know if you could tell, but the park had its benefits. Man, such cool things. But it also had a few things that were, what? The hubba, the handrail, the stair set, steep. I mean, that handrail was like so ridiculous. And as I was skating it, I was like, how can you get good at these things living here? And then I went on YouTube and typed in Mount Kenneth Skate Park and people kill that skate park. I only had a few minutes because I was with my family. So I was just like, yo, give me like 20 minutes. I'm gonna get these tricks and we're out. But people really skate that park very well. I mean, I saw someone who had nollie flip board slide down the, the handrail and that is like insane. I don't know how you can go slow enough to like not skip the whole rail. Now, of course, I think you know me. Is that it? Is that really all I'm gonna skate in Ireland? Well, in terms of skate parks, yes. But I already knew that, you know, your boy, your boy sounds weird now. This guy was gonna skate, especially if we go to a new city or something, I just can't not skate a new city. So we went to Dublin and Dublin, was the coolest. My brother and I totally figured out what kind of people we were because he loved the castles and the, and the countryside and so did I, loved it with a passion. But I did feel very comfortable once we got into the city, once we were actually in Dublin, I was like, oh, like it was like a breath of fresh air and I felt like I was like kind of back in my, in my thing. But while we were there, of course, I was like, we have to skate. And it was really cool because we were walking in this park area and I saw a couple skateboarders doing their thing. And I was just like, yo, skateboarding, yay. And just watching it was fun. The dude skating actually recognized me and we had a whole conversation. It was, it was amazing. But uh, I actually set up my camera and I, I did a, a little bit of skating. So after that, of course, I'm still like, dude, I, I'm still feeling, I need I need one more like thing and I, I think I'll, I'll be okay. Cause I get genuinely anxious, like not skating if we're in places with skate spots. So I've been wanting to go to Ireland ever since just to skate with Jamie Griffin, but he did move to London recently. So now like on my agenda when the world can open up, London's like one of my first destinations, London and Korea. 100% I have so many people there that I need to skate with and I need to, you know, make videos with and I can't, wait but still back to the story to me there's probably nothing better than just with my camera and myself going out at night in a city that i think is relatively safe and just filming skating on like anything and you know i got to do that making videos is such a perfect accumulation of what i love just because seeing the architecture of a european city or anywhere or being somewhere new for me is obviously very 
adrenalizing. I'm probably the worst dude to go on trips with like that because that is what I'm like constantly in that mode of like, I have to keep going. Like we have to, what's this? What's that? Let's go. How about da 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 da. Actually, I think that's cool. When I'm listening to cool music by myself, sitting on a sidewalk on my skateboard, it's like not, not only is it nostalgia of when I always used to just do that anyways in my hometown of Columbia, South Carolina, not only do I get to do it for a career now, which feels amazing always, but I get to play with a toy in a new city that allows me to explore the city in a way where people who live there every day never get to see it as. <laughs> I said that wrong, with, with the skateboard you get to see a city in a different way. That's just what, that's what the thing does. It's like that stair set, that street, that sidewalk, this rail, whatever, it is a new thing for a skateboarder. The city literally expands. Like the vision of the city right in front of you becomes multi-layer. <laughs> still snowing in New York City. That's why I'm doing this video, talking about a trip, rather than going out there and getting some, getting mines, because it's the, the ground's wet, it's snowy, etc. But I will say this, stay tuned for Thursday's video. It's a big video, it's a, it's a big announcement that's gonna happen. I don't wanna get too much, you know, built up. I'm just saying, stay tuned, and, and you're gonna wanna watch it. If you're someone who keeps up with me, it's, uh, something's happening. Thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, regardless of the, you know, randomness of it. But uh, if you had a good time, let me know consider subscribing. Also three videos a week on the Progress Daily channel. So five videos a week we're posting on this channel every single week, no matter what, because that's how we do it. Take care, Progress Daily, and keep killing it.